Uh, I would paint signs for people, and uh, so I thought, well, maybe, maybe I'll be a, a sign painter. And then I got involved in uh, printing, and I worked for a printer, and I set type, and, uh, and seeing all these funny little abstract shapes and realizing that all of our words are made up of these funny abstract shapes made me aware of how abstract the world is. And, and then I, uh, it, I, I would build on that, and I began to see that uh, there was some voice out there that made me want to make pictures of words. I think that the, those uh, words that I was engaged with and that I was trying to explore came really from um, cartoons, like the, the term oof was not really it would be difficult to find that in a dictionary, but it might actually exist in a dictionary today, but it has an, uh, almost an international, uh, could be used in any language, you know, and, and it all, it, it came from the idea of, let's say, of saying being hit in the stomach, and if you're hit in the stomach, the first urge is to say, oof. It's like blows the air out of, out of you, and so, that in itself was a, uh, to me, a pure subject. Um, sometimes I, uh, I'll respond to, to uh, a statement that someone makes that is actually incorrect English. I mean, it might be something like uh, a double negative or uh, you can't not do that. Uh, you know that th this is this is something that will be said by by people who sometimes are not educated, and yet the the force of the statement is uh, has some beauty to it that I feel like should be recorded and and made official. And so that's really what I'm doing when I make paintings, is, is uh, making things official. You know, studying uh, typography and using it with, uh, especially in books and in typographic arrangements, um, I, I began to see a um, kind of a limited stylistic impression that, that, it, that it would come out with and, and I wanted something that was, uh, it's difficult, very difficult, but it's, it's, it's difficult to come up with something that has no style and yet I, I wanted something that I felt like was styleless. So that's, I would say, the foundation behind that development of that uh, particular letter style. The letter style with no style. There's a, a routine that I would go through to make a, to make a picture and sometimes it's uh, Sometimes it's faulty, sometimes it's not really thought through, but, but at the same time there's a, I have blind faith in the uh, clumsiness of the approach. And uh, that's all part of the theatrics of making a picture. It's a patchwork of illogical steps that uh, that is really guided by whatever mistakes I've picked up along the way. And, and there's lots of little mistakes, but, and, or uncertainties that, um, that more or less guide me in, the, in making a picture. So uh, there is no real golden rule, and there's no procedure that I, that I have to follow.
I think humor is a um, um, is not a uh, a technique that you apply to a picture. It has to be internal and um, uh, and it's never really anything that's totally in, intentional. And sometimes the the humor in something will come out uh, as a as a byproduct of uh, of this way of making a picture. So, uh, but I appreciate. Uh, any form of, of humor or irony that might get into a work of art. I think when, uh, when I've used uh, fire, it's usually like at the side of a picture or it's something that uh, irritates the picture, but you have a grand scheme and then if you apply fire, it's usually off to the side somewhere and it's like a little nagging side issue that I feel like the, the picture might need. And, uh, and so fire to me is, a, uh, is a, uh, an interesting subject in itself. And it's got its own little destructive force and uh, and yet I'm not uh, glorifying it or anything, but I'm using it simply as a device. I look at uh, pictorial things as though they, they do have uh, a certain drama. And um, almost anywhere you go, I mean, you can focus on that camera stand or you can focus on that floor there and uh, and read some kind of drama in it, and uh, and my my approach is to uh, take drama and dramatize drama. So I might make something that is uh, looks like it has a foreground and a background, and the background is almost like a stage set, and the stage set might be a curtain or it might be a, an anonymous backdrop, like a mountain. Yeah, a mountain is not to me uh, necessarily a beautiful form of nature. It might just be like an idea of a mountain. It might be an idea of nature that I'm painting rather than a mountain. I might have gone through books and seen mountains in books and then I, I, th I think that I'm, I'm painting a picture of a picture of a picture of a mountain. They're like boxes, very simple geometric boxes, boxes with words on them. And uh, so I see, I see a, a lot of the world as, as uh, being a landscape with lots of boxes. They're just shaped differently. One might have a classical look to it, and one might have columns on it, but it's still, they're boxes with words. It says museum, or it says uh, sale today, or a drugstore here, or, you know, uh, they're, um, they're boxes with words. I always want to make this parallel between uh, paintings and children, so it's almost like there, if I had a lot of children, I would, uh, I might feel like, well, this one has got one uh, characteristic, and this child has another characteristic. This is, an, this one's giving me trouble. This one not giving me no trouble at all. Well, that's what that's what painting is like to me. Is that all these things are, they have a different uh, slot in life and in time, and and so each one has its own kind of life and uh, and I always feel like they're somehow they're like my children so seeing all these things together make me uh, nervous and makes me want to cry at the same time. 